Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create grids for your study area. So this is my study area boundary and in order to create grids, the first step will be uh, we need to check whether our study area is projected is in the projected coordinate system. So right click and go to the option properties and here you can find under source you can find the coordinate reference system so minus UTM zone 44 n it is in projected coordinate system so please do check it out uh, if it is in projected coordinate system it is better now you can just navigate to the option vectors and you can find the research tool inside research tool you can find create grids choose that and in grid type there are uh, several types available so in that I am going to use rectangular polygon there are also diamond polygon and hexagon polygon so the next step is to choose the grid extent there are multiple ways for choosing the grid extent so I am going to calculate from the study area boundary now after that you can see the horizontal spacing and uh, vertical spacing so here it is available in meters so if your uh, if your coordinate system is not projected it will be showing in degrees so it is better to uh, project your study area in projected coordinate system so here we are going to sp uh, give the grid space horizontal spacing and vertical spacing so here i am going to choose 25 as the horizontal spacing and i am going to choose a unit as kilometers it can vary based on the study area so minus uh, uh, at a bigger level it's for in state so I am using kilometers you can use it meters if your study area is smaller accordingly based on your need so after choosing the horizontal and vertical grid spacing now you can see the final option grids so click on here and you can save it as a temporary file or you can save it to a particular location so I am going to use save to a file and I am going to name the file as a grids now choose save and run it so you can see here we have got the grids so now let me right click on this grids and go to the option properties under symbology now let me choose at the transparent fill and you can see the study area so if you want to create uh, points in the center of the grids you can do it there is another option go to the option processing and toolbox here just type in centroid so you could find the centroids option over here tool open it and here we are going to input the grid file and after that you can save it to a particular location the points or you can save it as a temporary layer as you wish so I'm going to just run it and show you now you can see here we have successfully used this centroid tool to create points in the center of this grids if you want you can use it utilize it and if you want to clip this grid with your study area you can do it once again go to vectors now you can choose geoprocessing tools and you can find clip so our input layer will be grid and overlay layer will be our study area you can also save it to a particular location or save it as a temporary file now click on run so let me close it and let us visualize this outcome you can see here we have clipped the grid so if you want to create points in between these grids you can create it using the centroid option which i have previously showed you you can also select and export these grids if you want you can just select the grids and uh, you can just export it right click and here you can find export save feature as you can easily save it as a shape file or layer if you want so thanks for watching goodbye everyone